Welcome to Live Balls Look Ahead. Quick shout out to Hanwick Real-Time Risk Analytics, the newest member of the SIBO family. Hanwick Borrow Intensity Indicators now available on DataShop. Dan, if we take a look at VIX, you can see VIX futures term structure still in backwardation, well off its March uh, 18th highs, but not yet back into normal contango. Take a look at the broad market. What do you see? Yeah, Kevin, well, today the Fed uh, started their secondary market corporate credit facility, which is essentially they're coming in and they're buying corporate bond ETFs, investment grade and high yield for the first time ever. You know, we've seen a lot of action in that market. You know, SIBO, as you know, just this past year launched a new corporate bond future, high yield and investment grade. And our high yield one, IBHY, just last week had um, killer record volume there of uh, over 350 million notion, which is um, pretty crazy for a new, a new uh, product there. Kev, you and I were talking earlier today about some of those ETFs that are wrapped up there in that market. You want to touch on that? Absolutely. Uh, Taking a look at the chart here, you can see HYG, J&K, and LQD all really bouncing off of that, uh, that news back in late March when the Fed was sort of telegraphing its punches, saying they were going to step into the market eventually. Uh, so the market digested that information. And now that the Fed is actually stepping in, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Yeah, for sure. Um, Kev, speaking of the Fed, we've got Powell talking tomorrow. So all eyes will be on him to see what he says uh, for any forward guidance at all. Um, we've got PPI and we've got jobless claims again uh, coming out on Thursday. So plenty for the market to kind of dance around um, and uh, maybe tiptoe around, I guess you could say. And uh, as volatility trickles back into this market, as we saw today. So everybody stay safe. I'm Danny Gisa. I'm Kevin Nichols. Check us out at liveout.com.